All right, so in the last video, this is where we left off. We have created our first HTML file. We named it mypage.html, and this is how it looks like in our code editor. And I'll type here, for example, trainer, and I'm going to save this. And I'm heading back to the Chrome. And if we are going to save this, I mean refresh, as you can see, that uh, trainer is also being displayed over there. So at this point, we already know how we can place a text on the browser, right? But if we are going to look at the typical website, for example, Xbox website and then PS4 websites, we see different types of graphical elements, right? And by the way, of course, disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I just happen to love Xbox and PS4 because I love games. So anyway, we have text elements over here in which we already have an idea how to place a text on a page because this is basically just an HTML web page. This is just another HTML web, web page and the YouTube uh, uh, website is also another HTML web page. We are seeing here different types of graphical elements. We have videos, we have text, we have images, right? And there are even uh, like a button right over here is another graphical element. Even this text right over here is clickable. Other text, as you can see, it's not clickable. It is just there for display. And some text over here at the bottom as well, when you hover on it, it displays an underline and it is also clickable. Once you click that, it routes you to a separate page. And of course, we know that there, there is a back button over here to bring us to the previous page that we visited. So how do we create something like this? This button, uh, how do we put images? Uh, how do we put like different styles of text? Some texts right here are bigger, some texts are small. So maybe we will start with that, okay? So anyway, let me show you first an information that might help you understand uh, this one a little bit easier. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, right? So it's basically the standard for creating web pages. It describes the structure of a web page. It consists of series of elements. That's what I was talking about. Images, videos, paragraphs, okay? List, numbers on a web page. And it says HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. And these elements right over here, uh, even for text, we have different types of text elements. If we're going to go back to our code over here, and I'm going to press enter, and I will type H1. Once you type H1, press tab on the keyboard and it will auto complete. This thing right here that you see right now, let me just zoom in. Okay, so we have an H1 over here and another H1 over here. We call this HTML tags. And this is what it means by elements right over here. Tell the browser how to display the content. So this is an HTML element. And if I'm going to type here a text, for example, I love HTML, and I'm going to save that, head over to our browser, which is this one over here, and refresh it. As you can see, it is a bigger text. So it's telling the browser to display this text in this format, a bigger one. So for example, if we are going to copy this and replace this one with that same uh, text over there and uh, refresh our project, so they are the same information, but the browser has been instructed. We have instructed the browser to display this text in H1 format. We're using the H1 tag. So the other one has no tag, and this one has an H1 tag. And uh, let me go ahead and copy this like five more times, because in HTML, there are uh, actually six types of headings. This H right here stands for heading. So we have H1, H2, we also have H3, okay? We have H4 and up to H6. So let me just go ahead and finish typing here. So if I'm going to save this, make sure to save this. You can press Control S on your keyboard or click File and then Save over here or Save All. And I'm heading back to the Chrome where our project is being previewed. I'm going to click on Refresh and as you can see, the different types of headings have different sizes. This is H1, H2, up to H6. So by learning this, we now have an idea or an insight 
why is it that some text appears bigger and some text appears smaller? It is because we have different types of tags in HTML where we can use it to wrap a certain text so that it will appear in a certain way. And of course, there are tons of tags in HTML. We don't really have to memorize them. There's a technique on how we can automatically generate those tags if, if we needed them. And in the next video, we're going to be studying and learning about the different tags in HTML until to the point that we will be able to place an image, place a video on our web page, create a button on our web page. And I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.